Hello and welcome everyone to the final lecture in section 5 where we will study the use of volumes in support and resistance strategy. Here you will learn how to analyze volumes in this trading strategy by studying the right versus wrong criteria that traders use while interpreting volume. Finally in this lecture we will study the examples from section 4 but with volumes added to our trading chart. With that being said let us understand the first key guideline when using trading volumes in this strategy. Analyzing volumes near market tops and market bottoms to exploit sell and buy opportunities in real time is an art, not science. The comfort level that I expect you to achieve while adding volumes to your analysis will come with time, but you will be rewarded for your effort and time. There are no set rules as market just does not work in that way. Guys, with volumes, we are only looking for two things during any trading session. First is price agreement and second is price anomaly. This means that if the price is in agreement with the volume during that session, then that is a sign of continuation of the price behavior. To explain this further, let us look at an illustration. Similarly, if there is a price anomaly or when price is not in agreement with the associated volumes during that session, then the market is signaling a potential price change. Let us understand price anomaly using an illustration. Price agreement or price confirmation by volumes explains that it takes effort for the market to rise and it takes the effort for the market to fall. So if there is a large change in price in the session, it is validated by the large volumes associated to that session's price candle. Price agreement proves that the price is genuine and is not manipulated by the market makers and until there is a price reversal signal by the markets, we can maintain our buy and sell positions that we enter. Guys, this also brings us to second guideline you need to know when interpreting volumes on your trading chart. The analysis of volumes is relative to recent price action and therefore you will only consider what has happened in the past few candles while deciding the reversals or breakouts and not study candles many many sessions before. As per this guideline, you will observe volume bars for the previous few candles on both 4 hour and daily time frames to look for trade entries and exits near key resistance levels combined with major candlestick patterns. A large volume bar associated to a reversal pattern indicates that the professional traders or the market makers are most active at that time. And as a retail trader, our best trading opportunity arrives when we position ourselves with a big player. So it does not matter whether volumes are correct 90% of the time or 80% or even 70%. All I'm interested in is the accuracy and consistency which volume analysis provide me when confirming my analysis before I enter a trade. I have used volumes for years and it is working for me perfectly and honestly speaking my analyses are incomplete without volumes irrespective of the trading strategies I'm using. Guys before we study the final guideline and examples in this lecture let us quickly understand what we've learned in second guideline using a trading chart. Final guideline or principle that I want to stress on is perhaps the most important thing you need to have while trading. Having patience to wait for the right setup and the discipline to place a stop loss and hold on to your positions until market signals a reversal is key when using volumes with support and resistance trading strategy. 
To understand why you need to be patient, let us understand how a market works. Let us suppose price is advancing in a bull market and as it approaches a key resistance level on your trading charts, you notice a candlestick pattern which is signaling a potential reversal. Although this is a strong candlestick pattern but the volumes are not unexpectedly high during this first candle. During this candle, professionals have slowly started exiting their buy positions as they prepare for a price reversal. In later candles, market continues for a while before a high volume bar combined with the candlestick patterns validates the signal. The opposite is also true when price breakouts through a resistance level to continue the bullish trend. Once again, a key candlestick pattern combined with high volumes at or just above the resistance level confirms the trend continuation. This breakout can occur after a small sideways price activity or after a prolonged consolidation phase. The key is to stay patient and wait for the right setup. This is where trading on multiple trading instruments proves beneficial. Having a portfolio of forex pairs, metals, stocks, commodities, energies, etc. ensures that there is a trade setup available most of the time on one of these. On the other hand, discipline, according to me, is somehow related to patience. While waiting patiently for the ideal opportunity to arrive is key, having discipline to hold on to your winning positions is also very important. This is often where your support and resistance zones provide you an idea about where the price is heading in future. Because often you will have trades which have great earning potential but you fail to take advantage of them because you closed too soon. Guys, I will teach you more about these attributes when we study the live trades in section 7 of the course. Please understand what you have learned in this lecture because these are the cornerstones of this strategy. Before I conclude this lecture and the section 5, let us quickly study some of the examples from section 4. But this time we will add volumes indicated to each candlestick pattern. In the first example, we will study the shooting star formation on daily charts of pound yen, which was also accompanied by key resistance levels. Let us add volume indicated to this chart to see if this price reversal was validated by the volume. As you see here, volume bar associated to shooting star had larger volumes compared to the previous volume, hence confirming the price reversal as the price declined upon the shooting star appearance. This is a powerful function that volume analysis serve in this support and resistance trading strategy. Moving on to the next example of shooting star on euro dollar, let us analyze if volume validated the reversal here. Once again, the daily volumes are higher in comparison to previous day's volume, hence confirming the price reversal. Also on this forex pair, this is a long-legged dodgy which appeared after a clear sideways price activity. Once again, notice the large daily volume signal strength of this long-legged dodgy. In the next example, we are looking at a hammer on crude oil chart. Remember guys, these are all the examples you have studied in section 4, except I am adding volume indicator this time to complete the bigger picture of our analysis. Here also, price inclined after hammer formation and then a strong signal top was recorded. Daily trading volumes on this signal top were also high compared to previous bar, hence confirming the bearish reversal.
Moving on to the next example of pound dollar, let us study if volume confirms the reversal. Once again, volumes confirmed the genuineness of price and market rallied in the later sessions. Let us study the bearish engulfing patterns on the chart of silver now. I want you to carefully study the first pattern as you will see that the volumes declined during the first bearish engulfing pattern which is not ideal for confirmation before we enter a sell trade. Remember we studied earlier that volume signal reversals with an accuracy of 90%. Therefore, in some cases, you might see reversal patterns bring reversal even if volumes are not confirming that reversal. But in the second pattern, volume increased on the second candle, which is a perfect sell opportunity signaling the increased selling strength on the second candle in the formation. Now on gold, both bearish engulfing patterns were also associated to increasing volumes and their appearance on key levels increased strength of these patterns. However, the bullish engulfing pattern recorded decreasing volumes but markets rallied even when the volume was low for the second bar. In these scenarios, I want you to trust your analysis and carefully analyze each session as it unfolds. In the next example, signal top on dollar and Swiss franc was also associated to key level on this daily chart. Again on dollar yen chart, the signal bottom recorded sharp spike in volumes compared to the previous candle. Then price rallied in a sharp uptrend following this formation. Here again, the bullish engulfing pattern was associated to large volume bars and then price advanced sharply on this chart. In the next example of US dollar and Canadian dollar, I will add volumes to the double bulls pattern. An ideal reversal confirmation for double bull patterns arrive when both candles have an increasing volume near key technical levels. Similarly, I will quickly explain double BF patterns on pound and Swiss franc. Guys, the criteria remains the same as you analyze the different patterns and their associated volumes. And in the final example, we look at the isolated pivots, which is three candle formation.
Once again, the increasing volumes on each candle is a sign that the sellers have taken control. Once isolated pivots appear after an uptrend and vice versa. Guys, volumes present perfect trading opportunity to align ourselves with the professionals or the market makers near the market highs and lows on any trading instrument. I'm confident that these examples have explained the combination of support and resistance levels, key candlestick patterns and volume analysis. This also concludes this section and in the next section I will put together a complete support and resistance trading strategy before we study live trades in the second last section of the course.